Mom. How's it going? I'm hanging in there, sweetie. Just getting ready to jet off out of state for a little while. Another business trip, huh? Didn't you go to Canada for work last time? Yeah. This month has been a whirlwind. We've been launching a bunch of new products lately. I've got a bunch of store inspections lined up. So, I've been running around like a chicken with its head cut off, trying to fit everything in. Sounds like you're busy as ever. My mom's the coolest. Well, we're not the biggest company. So it's not like I have a million stores to visit. But there's still a lot of planning and prep that goes into each visit. Some people might think being a CEO is a breeze. But I swear, I'm doing the work of five people. I'm so swamped. It's almost hard to believe. <laughs> Wasn't it the same for you when you were working? Hmm, I'm not really sure. My old life was a crazy blur. Ever since I became a stay-at-home housewife. <laughs> Keeping on top of the housework and running things at home is just as important as a job as any other. If not more so. As you know, housework has never been my strong suit. I'd be begging to be freed from my torment by day two. The fact that you've been doing this for over a year now is incredible, Summer. I'm so proud of you. I'm surprised to hear that. You strike me as the kind of person who can do absolutely anything. Don't you remember what the kitchen looked like that time I got done cooking? <laughs> when was it again? Back when you were in high school, I think. Don't you remember what the kitchen looked like that time I got done cooking? Oh, now that you mention it, I remember now the method you used to make that meal was certainly... How do I put this? Innovative? <laughs> Right? I can't necessarily say I was proud of it though, but didn't you find it really difficult to adapt to your new life as a housewife when you and Jesse first moved in together? Since I sucked at it so bad, I could never teach you all that stuff growing up. Don't worry, I never struggled. <laughs> I've always been better than you at housework. Maybe I get in Jesse's mom's way sometimes, but that's it. How are things with his parents these days? Are you guys getting along like a house on fire like usual? I know they're great people, but even the best of us are tested when it comes to shared living arrangements like that. Sure, things aren't bad. The whole living together is going well. Just normal, I think. I see. I want you to know that you can always talk to me if there's ever anything troubling you. Okay, Summer? It's totally normal if you find it difficult. At times, most people would shudder at the thought of living with the in-laws. I think what you're doing is admirable. I know you missed out on all sorts of things and faced all sorts of challenges the other kids didn't have to face since I raised you on my own as a single mother. If there's anything I can do to help you now, I'm here. Don't be silly, Mom. My childhood was great. I wouldn't have it any other way. I never wanted for anything after dad died, and I'll always be grateful for everything you've done for me. Thank you, Summer. I feel like 10 years have added on to my life from just hearing you say that. <laughs> Come on, Mom. Surely that's an exaggeration. Sorry to go off the subject. Anyway, I want you to know if you ever need me for anything, I'm always just a phone call away. Okay, thanks. Actually... Now that you mention it, there was something I wanted to ask you. Or, how do I put this? A favor to ask. The thing is, Mom, I'm thinking about starting work from home as a freelancer. Wow, really? That's great, sweetie. So, I was wondering if you could maybe give me some work through your company. To help me get started? Of course, I'm happy for you to go through all your preliminary checks and complete some trial work if you need me to. I don't want you to treat me any different than you would anyone else. And if it turns out you don't have any use for me, then of course you don't have to take me on. It just so happens that I have the perfect thing for you. I've been thinking about putting some effort into expanding the company's reach on social media lately, especially PeepBook. All the kids seem to be on there these days. You used to work in graphic design related to marketing, right? Do you think you could make us some images to promote the company on social media? 
You bet I can. That's exactly what I did in my old job. I'm pleased to hear it. Most of the staff at our company are bordering on being geriatric. So I thought it'd be nice for us to get some young blood on board. I think you could be just what we need. I have all sorts of ideas about new marketing strategies and product ranges. I can't promise the wages will put you on any private jets, but what do you say? Absolutely. Count me in. Got it. I'll fill you in on the details later on. Can you send me a work address? Sure. Will do. Thanks so much, Mom. You're the best. It's nothing, really. If anything, I'd be a fool not to bring you into the fold. You know the company better than most. What brought all this on, though? How come you're suddenly so interested in working from home? If I remember rightly, Brandon's a traditionalist. He said he'll do anything in his power to avoid you having to work, so you can spend as much time as possible keeping things at home in order, right? It's true, he is, but it's not working out in reality like he envisioned. And to be honest, we're not doing so great financially. Really? Is everything okay? Did something happen? Don't worry, we're not in any danger of becoming homeless next week or anything. It's just we've been in the red for a couple of months now. I figure if I can start bringing in some money on the side, it should even things out again. Really? I mean it though, sweetie. If you ever need my help, I want you to tell me. Don't think you're being a nuisance. I want to be there for you. I'm more than capable of lending a helping hand. You know, being a CEO has its benefits. It's fine, really. Sure, you might have your own company, but you're the one who works so hard to build it up. It's only right you should be the one to enjoy the riches that comes with it. Besides, it's not really that serious. Maybe I made it sound worse than it actually is. Okay. If you say so, honey, I'll always have your back though, Summer. Never forget that. Hey, Melanie, it's been a while. Well, if it isn't Brandon, no kidding. It's been ages. When was it we all went for that meal together? Six months ago? Anyway... How's my favorite son-in-law doing? I'm doing great, thanks. Yeah, six months. Thanks for taking us out back then. Even now, I can still remember the flavor of those tendy, juicy, succulent ribs. Delicious. Oh, mama, I'm getting hungry just thinking about them. You're right. Everything was amazing. That was the best steak I ever had in my life. I thought the place looked good as soon as I read the reviews online. And they didn't disappoint. I'd love it if we could all go together again soon. But I imagine you're probably all kinds of busy with work. Huh? What do you mean? Well, it's just that last time I invited Summer out for a meal, she declined because she said you'd be home late. Is everything okay? I hope you're not overdoing it at work. Oh, that. I actually picked up some part-time work on top of my main job. Huh? You're working part-time on top of the full-time hours you do at your normal job? This is kind of embarrassing to admit, but the management at my main company is a train wreck. You could say things have been running less than smoothly lately. I took a huge pay cut a couple of months back and things showed no sign of improving. To put it bluntly, the place is in tatters. Wow, I see. I had no idea. So that's why Summer is so intent on finding work. Summer said that? Yes. She said, things hadn't been going so well lately. So she wants to find some freelance work online to supplement the family finances. Of course I offered to help out. But she was adamant that you guys would be fine on your own. Are you really going to be okay? Well, to tell you the truth, things don't look great. The situation is so bad at the company right now that I'm considering finding a new job. Right. That makes sense. If it doesn't look like things are going to improve there, it'd be wise to keep your options open. So, on that topic, there's kind of something I've been wanting to ask you. You think you might be able to help us out a little, just for a short while, till we get back on our feet? I know Summer said we're okay, but she's just too proud to admit we really ain't. Truth is, we're only just barely getting by. Of course I'll help you. 
Really? You, you sure you don't mind? Of course. We look out for each other in times of need. Thanks a bunch. I'm mega grateful. I'm really sorry to trouble you like this. We're family, Brandon. You don't have anything to apologize for. I know you'd do the same for me in a heartbeat if the tables were turned. I also know how hard you work to make sure my daughter never wants for anything. It's an honor and a privilege to be able to contribute to that. Thanks. There is one thing, though. Would you mind not telling Summer about this? I prefer if we can keep the whole thing between the two of us. If she finds out, I just know she'll feel bad and tell me to give it back. She hates the idea of inconveniencing you so much. She'd rather live on the breadline than ask for help. Gosh, you're right. That's pretty much the impression I got when I offered to help before. The chances of her accepting it are slim. On the other hand, money is important, and I'm a big proponent of openness and honesty within a relationship, especially a marriage. I understand that, but my pay cut is taking its toll on both of us, on us both over the last couple of months. I really don't want to worry her or stress her out more than she already is. It's not that I don't understand how you feel, but... Melanie, please. I swear on my ancestors, I'll find another job at a good company with its shit together. And I'll never make your daughter worry ever again. I solemnly vow to provide her with everything she needs and wants forever. Please, just cover for us for the next two months. Alright, I understand. I want to be there for you both. If it's just two months, I'm more than happy to help out. Honestly, that should give you enough time to find a new job. That said, if two months pass and you still haven't found anything, I want you to tell Summer I helped you. Do we have a deal? You betcha we do. You're the best mother-in-law in the whole universe. My mom is my mom and dad, on the other hand. Ugh, don't even get me started. They've been so useless, I can't rely on them at all. Please go easy on them, Brandon. They've been wonderful to Summer ever since you two met. I know this might seem like a strange time to tell you this, but look after my daughter. She asked if I could provide her with some work through my company recently, and she seemed really excited by the idea. I understand the main reason she asked me is because you guys have been struggling, but it seems like she might actually be interested in working again because she enjoys it. I see. To tell you the truth, I've been thinking about the same thing myself. I was always so dead set on the idea of her becoming a stay-at-home housewife. But you're right, it can be a lot more difficult than that sounds, and not everyone wants to be stuck at home all the time. I'm pleased to hear you say that. I can only give her part-time hours as things stand. But if she does say she wants to carry on working, when you guys are out of this little pinch you currently find yourselves in, I want you to support her. Of course, I understand you want her to be a stay-at-home housewife. That's fine, really. I'm willing to keep an open mind if that's what Summer really wants to do. Besides, you're helping me out big time. Right now, I'm hardly in a position to go making demands, and I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to go in the first place. If Summer's fine being a full-time stay-at-home housewife is difficult, then I feel bad too. I never wanted to pressure her into doing anything she didn't want to do. Thank you. All right, could you send me your bank details? You said two months, right? How much exactly do you need? You think you might be able to send over $2,000 for now? Okay, got it. I just sent the money. I'm looking forward to hearing how your job hunt is going in two months. Fingers crossed for being good news. Mom, are you there? Is now a good time? Huh? Sure. What's up? Is this about work? Yeah, there was something work-related I wanted to talk to you about, actually. But I have something else unrelated to tell you. I hope you're not overdoing it. You shouldn't be pushing yourself at a time like this. In fact, you really shouldn't be thinking about work at all on a day like today. I hope you're taking enough breaks too. You can always tell me if everything's getting too much and you want to call it a day early. But actually, you know what? All talk of work is officially forbidden. I want you to think about enjoying your time away to the fullest. Huh? Why? At a time like this? A day like today? My time away? What are you talking about? If you can't stop thinking about work stuff on a day like today, when can you? 
I just saw you all at the airport. I take it you're going away on a family holiday? I saw you with all your big suitcases. You must be heading off somewhere. Oh, you saw. Don't worry, I'm not going with them. You mean you're not all going on a family holiday? But Brandon and his parents were there, huh? What on earth? Back at the house like always. What does that mean? It means just that. This was what I wanted to talk to you about, actually. This whole thing with living with Brandon and his parents. It's not going well, Mom. What? Are they bullying you? Bullying? I never really thought of it that way. But I guess now that you mention it, maybe. Things between me and Brandon haven't been going so well. He took all of the money I saved up back when I was single, saying it belongs to the whole family now. They've been treating me like they're living maid this whole time. They've been doing what? Mom, I'm sorry. You were so happy for us at the wedding, but I married a monster. You don't have to apologize, sweetie. You had no way of knowing. You must have been through so much. My poor girl. You need to get away from that family as soon as possible. I want you to come home immediately. I'm so sorry, mom. What reason would you have to apologize to me? That twisted husband of yours and his family are the only ones at fault here. But you said you wanted me to be happy. You were so pleased for us when we got married that you cried tears of joy. I've never seen you so happy. All I ever wanted to do was to make you proud, mom. But the man I fell for turned out to be a total jerk. Him and his family used my savings to fund holidays and meals at fancy restaurants. They treat me like their own personal maid. I have to do whatever they say and cater to their every whim. I'm so pathetic. Stop this, Summer. Stop it now. You haven't done anything wrong. Listen, sweetie, there's something you should know. Something I should know? The reason I didn't say anything to Brandon and his family when I saw them at the airport is because I thought it might make Brandon feel awkward. Awkward? What do you mean? I owe you an apology. The truth is, Brandon asked me for some money. He told me what a difficult spot you guys are in, and I gave him some. Uh, he even came begging to you for money? That jerk, I can't believe this. As if stealing my money wasn't enough. He even went pestering you for cash behind my back? So that's where the money for the holidays came from. My savings are running low, so I was confused when they said they were going away on a lavish family holiday together. But this explains it. Just when I think he can't sink any lower. God, what a scumbag. Summer. Just tell me one thing. Do you have time to do what you need to do now? It's time for me to get away from this house once and for all. Good. Come to my company's office as soon as you can. We have your future to discuss. Melanie, you there? This is urgent. Is Summer with you? She sure is. The divorce papers are left on the table, right? I do hope you hurry up and sign them without kicking up a fuss. Did Summer tell you anything? Yes, everything. Whatever she told you, it's not true, I swear. This is all a huge misunderstanding. Which part? The part where you stole my daughter's savings and used them to eat out at fancy restaurants and go on family holidays that didn't include her? Or the part where you and your parents treated her like your own living slave? Mark my words, you will pay for what you put my daughter through, you sniveling coward. No, you're being too hasty here. Let's not jump to conclusions, okay? Just because Summer says those things don't make them true. What she told you was wrong. A lie. Well, maybe not strictly a lie, but she has it all wrong, I swear. There are two sides to every story. Go on. I'm listening. Are you saying there was a perfectly legitimate reason for you to take advantage of bullying and abusing my daughter? This should be good. I don't know anything about these restaurant trips and family holidays you mentioned, but the reason we had to use her savings was because we were struggling to get by. After treating her like a slave, that just ain't true. You gotta believe me. Listen, my parents are old fashioned and they can be crazy strict sometimes, but that's all strict. They're not slave drivers. They are hard on me too, you know? They were probably just hard on her when it came to keeping things in good shape around the house. My poor daughter's hands were so worn out, 
I could barely believe my eyes. Despite living in the age of modern cleaning technology like vacuum cleaners and washing machines, she told me she was forced to do everything by hand. There's being old fashioned and then there's being sadistic control freaks. It's patently obvious which category you three fall into. You have cleaning appliances for crying out loud, but you still made her wash their clothes with a washboard? That's harassment, plain and simple. A washboard? Sorry, I had no idea what was going on. My mom must have made her do that. That's how she used to do the laundry when she was a little girl. I'll tell her it's not acceptable and make sure she never does that again, I swear. Don't bother. My daughter's never coming back. But I love Summer. I love Summer. She's my darling angel, my soulmate. I had no idea my parents were treating her like this when I wasn't around. I'd never let them get away with it if I knew. Do you really think I'd turn a blind eye to that kind of thing? She's my wife. I promise I'll never let this happen again. Please, just let me speak to her. She's not answering my texts or picking up the phone. No chance. She wants nothing more to do with any of you. You're done. Finished. She wants a divorce. The mere thought of talking to him makes her feel nauseous. Which is why all communications will go through me from now on. If there's anything you want to tell her, go ahead. But I don't want a divorce. I don't consent. I'm not signing those papers. She's so special to me. She's the love of my life. I can't lose her. If she doesn't want to live with my parents anymore, we can move away and get her own place. Please, just give me one last chance to speak to her. I'm begging you. But your parents weren't the only ones who bullied, abused, and manipulated her, were they? You were involved too. I wasn't. I swear. You have to. You have to believe me. Besides, do you have any proof? You can't just go around making wild accusations like that. Would you admit it if I did? Because it just so happens that I do, actually. She has all the transaction history from the bank account you've been stealing money from ever since you got married. One thing you didn't take into account during your horrible campaign of abuse against my daughter is that she's very clever. She had the wisdom and forethought to hire a private investigator to collect evidence of what you were doing before her savings disappeared completely. She also recorded you all verbally abusing her every day. She... she did what? You underestimated my daughter, you twisted scumbag. What, now you got the balls to admit what a lowlife you are yet? Believe me, we have ample evidence and are willing to use it to bring you down if we have to. No, no, you got this all wrong, I swear. Did you say she saw my transaction history? You... you should know. The only reason I visited all those strip clubs was because I was on work-related business. You're telling me you spent thousands of dollars across virtually every strip club in the city on work business? What kind of job do you do? The private investigator ascertained beyond any doubt that you were there for private reasons. You always went on your own, after all. God, you wouldn't get it. Us guys, we need to be released. Sometimes. That's just how we are. Well, she must have hired some cheap amateur, because that's wrong. So that's your position, is it? Do you stand by that? Actually, forget it. I have no interest in dragging out this conversation any longer than it has to be. We have plenty of proof. Besides, so your protests are useless. It turns out you were also buying the strippers presents? You're a generous guy, huh, Brandon? Oh, yeah. And you used that money I gave you to keep you going until you found a new job. To go on a lavish holiday with your family, didn't you? It was my mom's birthday. Even still, you left Summer all on her own at the house while you guys went abroad to live at large on my money. Why was that again? Oh yeah, her job as your wife to stay at home and watch the house. You really are the most despicable human being I've ever had the misfortune of knowing. What the hell is wrong with you and your family? I feel like the average caveman probably had more progressive views on women than you. The only reason we didn't take her on holiday with us because we wanted to give her some alone time. Living with my parents was taking its toll on her, so we thought the holiday would be the perfect opportunity to give her some room to breathe. Stop bullshitting me, boy. I'm sick of hearing your excuses. I used some of my work connections to get in touch with your boss. We just had a very interesting phone call. It turns out you never took a pay cut at all. 
and your company is doing better than ever. Go on. Explain yourself. I'll wait. Wait, what? You spoke to my boss? Yes. One of my fellow CEO friends and him go way back. It's plain as day now. The only reason you came begging me for money was because you'd blown all of my daughter's hard-earned savings on frivolous treats for you and your deranged parents. Unfortunately for you, Summer's done following your orders. What did you say to my boss? Oh, you wouldn't have happened to. Oh, I don't know. Said anything bad about me, would you? You made my daughter's life a living hell over the past year. And the only thing you're worried about is yourself? Anyway, whether I say anything about what you did to your boss depends on your answer to my next question. Are you going to sign the divorce papers or not? Yes, I'm so, so sorry. Does that mean you admit what you did to my daughter? Yes, I'm sorry from the bottom of my heart. Talk is cheap. If you're really sorry, give my daughter back the $35,000 in savings you stole from her. Ugh, that's gonna be a little, um... You see, the thing is, I don't have any money. Giving Summer her savings back is gonna be really difficult. That's a shame. It looks like it's time me and your boss had another little chat. Fine, I'll do it. She can have the damn savings back, every last cent of it. Please just don't call my boss. I'm literally begging you here. I'll be on my knees at your feet if I was there in person. Please. I swear I'll never go near Summer again. Please forgive me. You and your family caused my beloved daughter unimaginable pain and suffering, Brandon. She adored you once. Do you know that? She doted on you and you betrayed her. I'll never forget what you did for as long as I live. And don't get complacent. Just because I'm not calling your boss today doesn't mean I won't change my mind in the future. I'll never let you hurt her again. I think you know damn well what's going to happen if I find out you lied to me and try to contact her at any point after the divorce. I suggest you proceed very, very carefully from now on. After that, Summer and Brandon's divorce was finalized without a hitch. Brandon broke down in tears when we met to discuss repayment of the stolen money, saying there was no way he could afford to pay it all back in one lump sum. We very kindly let him write us a written acknowledgement of his debt in the presence of our lawyer and pay it back in monthly installments. Brandon and his family started spending money like it grew on trees. When they got their grubby mitts on my daughter's savings, their spending habits grew quickly out of control. As a result of that and the huge debt they owe my daughter, they couldn't keep up with the repayments on their credit cards and are now up to their ears in debt. Last I heard, all three of them are working day and night just to keep their heads above water. 